good morning uh, good afternoon everyone my name is dr niket ginoria my registration num uh, membership number is g19162 191672 only 172 vt 172 yes yes registration number is gt191 So, how important do you think is the management of a traumatized eye in our day-to-day -day practice? Well, a study performed for the WHO estimated that up to 55 million eye injuries occur annually worldwide, and up to 1.6 million people lose their sight due to eye trauma. In developed countries, it is a major cause of unilateral blindness. So. So, how do we surgically approach this particular case of traumatic cataract? So, the surgical management of traumatic cataracts is performed through either an anterior nipple route or a posterior plana approach. The choice is often based on the degree of lens injury and the likelihood of nutritious loss. The anterior surgical approach is useful in circumstances as non-dislocated cataract with intact capsule, a capsular rupture with cataract, subluxated lens with or without cataract, and anterior lens dislocation again with or without cataract. The posterior surgical approach is useful in posterior capsular rupture with cataract, subluxated lens again with or without cataract, and posterior lens dislocation with or without cataract. So what do you see in this case? So this case Looks like a traumatic cataract with a rock cut nucleus with a partial dislocation. So, sir, how do we approach this case? This Brunerson cataract lens is, as you can see, partially dislocated in the anterior chamber. So, let's make space in the anterior chamber by injecting high molecular weight with scoelastic. But we need to put in the tripan blue on the capsule. So let's smear the tripan blue onto the capsule. The rexis is created and then the bag needs to be supported with capsular hooks. So we put in four of these in number. Let's now put in the CTR to stabilize this bag which is half dislocated. Now for the nucleus management, let's do a straight job and in the Brunus and Cactrack, after getting a partial job, let's take out a small pie first and then patiently let's manage the nucleus in total. A single piece lens is what we have chosen for this patient and in the bag we place it. But the bag is decentered. Now we place the Sioni ring in the bag. The Sioni is anchored and after placing intracapital biocarpy, the eye is closed. So, is it important to have a posterior segment backup when dealing with an anterior segment trauma? Yes, it is because in a case of traumatic cataract, like in this case, having a large corneal scar extending centrally with extensive anterior and posterior synechae along with ruptured anterior capsule and traumatic cataract and vitreous in the anterior chamber is definitely a possibility. So, can you please elaborate the steps of surgery as you continue with the surgical process? We start with making two side ports in an attempt to dislodge the synechae with the spatula. But here, this is unsuccessful. Tripan blue is now injected to detect 
whatever the anterior capsule is there. There is a thick addition of the iris tissue and the anterior capsule with the corneal scar, as you can see. Now let us use the vitrector to cut the iris tissue and the capsule from the fibrous band of the cornea. As you can see again, that there is a thick cortical and nuclear matter which is removed partially by irrigation and aspiration. And since initial vitrectomy was done, and finally with the cutter, we cut out the remaining part of the vitreous. Look, we can now make out that there is enough anterior capsule scaffold to hold a 3D lens. Let's now implant a 3-piece lens and place it in the sulcus. It goes in quite easily. But look at this stump of tissue to the corneal scar. Let's cut it with the thick vanus scissors since the thin micro scissors could not sever it. The IOL is now well centered and let's do a tricot assisted anterior vitrectomy. That done, the case is nicely complete. So to sum up, every surgeon needs to be well versed in the management of a traumatized eye. Every eye with trauma must undergo a full evaluation both anterior segment and posterior segment at an exam and an ultrasound and in special cases a CT scan or MRI. Every surgical step must be well planned. Every instrument to be used should be appropriate. The surgery itself should not inflict more trauma to the tissues than necessary. The strength and integrity of every tissue that has survived the trauma should be respected. Trauma, so I think, is a fact of life. It does not, however, have to be a life sentence. Thank you.